when you're in the boxing ring, you can see your opponent. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah. With with me you can't mental see illness, him, you must be Ray Charles or Stevie Wonder. <laughs> <laughs> with with mental illness, you can't see it. You don't know when it's going to come out of the shadows. You don't know when it's going to come out, but I'm doing a, a survey and trying to understand the medication what they're giving you. Mm. A lot of people, it's a load of rubbish, and the the, the proper the, the government are tricking people and making people do some wrong things, take the drugs, what they're giving. Because this scar here is when I put myself in hospital, but they gave me a tablet yeah. and I knocked myself down and gave me three stitches in well, my head. The, the, the reason you wanted to come here was talking about the aftercare, is that you, yeah. you'll go into the hospital and you'll get the care and, and the things that you need. The aftercare is a load of rubbish, a lot of them, you know what I mean? They've got big cars, they're driving around, they've got big houses and whatever, they don't really care about the patients, they only care about themselves. Well, that, that obviously this is, uh, this is your uh, my perspective, perspective of, 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 but of, of what's happened. Me of course. The way they're treating me, what about the other people? I'm a nobody, but what about the other people that they're treating? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And, the and rough you have places I've been in. issued a, a, a statement to the to the Prime Minister, uh, and it's a challenge that you lay down now. I would love to meet the Prime Minister. The Prime Minister is the most important and the most powerful, not the most important, but the most powerfulest man in the country. Last time I was here with Piers Morgan, I begged him if I could go and meet the Prime Minister to talk over these sort of like different things. There's a lot of different things that I'd like to talk well, about. Well, the Prime Minister, Minister doesn't about. listen to Piers Morgan, but he Sorry? certainly listens to us. So I'm he sure. listens to He you. listens to us, I'm but sure. But if you know the Prime Minister, if you've got a, somewhere where you can get through what to him, What do you I want to say desperately. to him when you I sit really down with him? Because he has championed mental health and he said that this... Sorry? ...that he said that the government will help... It Norman will Lamb. Norman Lamb, the Lib Dem, helped very, very well. He was a lovely diamond... Mm. A really, he was a lord, mm. Norman Lamb. But David Cameron, he don't, he don't give a monkeys. Well, but, well, I think, I think that, uh, I think that it would be very interesting to see whether or not there is any sort of response to, to Downing Street because I, 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 I know would that love to meet the prime minister. I'm a nobody. All I would just like to do is sit down. What would down you say to him? Put, what do you want I, I to can't say really to say him, on right? television what I would like to say. I would like to meet him first. You'd be polite though. Sorry. You'd be polite. Of course, I'd be polite. I've got, I'm polite to the police. I'm polite to my mum, especially my mum's watching, so yeah. I can't disrespect the programme. Uh, can, right. I, can I ask you, uh, with, with mental health, from sort of your, your first diagnosis with it in 2003 to where we are now, do you think as a society we are better at dealing with it, though? Do you think it, it's, it has got better in some way? This princess, years ago, they never had all this medication, all these drugs, all these side effects. they done it the old Roman way, mineral health farm way, you know what I mean? Sort of like massage and um, Buddhism and meditation, yeah. all different things. Now they're just f filling up so people think it was with drugs then? and making them be like zombies. It'd be like the Michael Jackson video, like the thriller when they come out of the grave and they're like zombies. Mm. It's wrong what they're doing. The drugs, they're the biggest drug dealers in the world, the government, and it's crooked. It's so terrible. What, what effect have those drugs had on you? What do it's, they do to the, you? They the made me um, suicidal. Um, mess up your head, mess up your clock, you can't sleep. I'm up walking around, break dancing. I've got so much energy. Um, I feel like Superman. I'm going to the gym all the time, working hard. I just what I've got to come into boxing. I've got to get back into boxing to get this out of my system because I don't, I don't want to end up in Broadmoor Hospital. Well, the, uh, there's no, no doubt that you going back to the gym, and I think uh, we saw I'm some pictures of you. I'm going back into boxing as well. I'm coming back into boxing. Uh, well, is that a good idea? Is that a good idea? I haven't got no choice. I haven't got no choice. You know, I, I um, train every day. Mm. I get Eddie Hearns, who's so called supposed to be a promoter, saying that Andy Joshua knocked me out in two rounds. I'm not even dead. God rest his soul, Terry Wogan. Yeah. And very, very diamond special guy. But I can't really sit down and let these little so called promoters say that their guy beat me in two rounds and I'm not even... I'm alive and I've got to take that. I'm, they're well, it, ta me off. it takes a, a, an enormous amount of work to get from... If, if you haven't boxed for a while, haven't been in the ring for a while, and you say, you're back, you're back, in, you're back in the gym now and you are, <laughs> you are working... There's that laugh. I love it. <laughs> your laugh this morning, when we were in makeup, our makeup rooms are right next to each other and I could hear your chuckle coming down the yeah. corridor and it just you rock, makes you shake smile. the building. It's lovely. Sure. I've been in a coma for 20 years, training every single day down at Champlis, yeah. Hanbury Manor, um, 
anytime fitness, you know what I mean? Fitness first, I'm a life but member. Also... I train every day, it's my job, it's my profession. Yeah. Really... Like your job, like this beautiful lady here, you're good at your job, I'm good at my job. <laughs>